Hey everybody, GoToOne back with another video. And today's video is a tutorial that I am following up on that my friend at T2 Wave made about how to move your camera around inside your OBS while you're live streaming. Um, he did this whole awesome tutorial that you guys can check out, which I'll link in the card description or in the cards up in uh, the corner of the screen and in the description. And essentially, I'm going to be showing you guys how to import the Stream Deck profile that we created uh, for those of us that are using Stream Deck instead of Touch Portal to move our camera around. Um, for context, uh, basically what he was showing in the tutorial was how to move your camera around like this and also how to use compass directions like this. Um, but obviously I want to go here. Oh wait, I think I want to go back up here. Yes. Okay. And we're, we're going, we're doing this as we go. Come on. Where's my thing? Cool. So, um, I'm essentially going to show you guys how to import that stream deck profile that we made for the, for again, those of us that are stream deck users, and this should be a really easy tutorial. So go ahead and follow along with me and we'll show you how this is all done. So let's go to my desktop here. Um, for context, this is the video he made where he showed how to move your camera on any scene in OBS. He provided the source file to um, his uh, the tutorial files to his Gumroad website, which is right here, on um, which you guys can get from uh, from his original video. And I also already have the profile because he made it on my computer, so I'll show you guys how to import that. Um, so what you can do is open up Stream Deck, and let's just say that you already have all your stream, all your stream all your scenes and sources for your stream set up like this uh, what we're gonna do is head over to the gear icon and uh, it's probably gonna dump you in your general section more likely so we're gonna have to go over to profiles we're gonna have and now obviously I already have it imported because we were testing things from earlier in the week but in your case what you're gonna do is hit the drop down and you're going to left click on import you're gonna scroll down navigate to that file that you downloaded from his website which is the tutorial move cam, double click and open. And obviously it says copy because again, tutorial purposes, don't worry about that. It's just gonna, it's not gonna say copy when you import it. And you're done importing up to this point. But you're probably asking yourself, wait a minute, how do I switch back to my scenes and sources that I made for myself? Not a problem, this is really, really easy. What you're gonna do is go over to the right hand pane of the uh, Stream Deck software. And you're gonna look for what's called switch profile. You're going to drag that over here and once you have you're going to click the drop down and you're going to select your profile that you have for your scenes and sources which in my case is called AV Grid Stream 15 key. So we click that and now we can go back to our normal sources and scenes for our stream. But how do we get back to the move cam? Again same process. Going to take the switch profile again drag it into whatever profile you use for your stream you're going to click the drop down and we're going to go back to uh, the tutorial move cam uh, not copy which is, it's not going to say that for you um, and there you go you've now uh, made a profile switcher for your stream deck and to make it more clear you could call this um, move cam profile and there you go you can name it so when you click it and then you could go back and say like uh, normal uh, scene let's see I'm gonna call this normal scene profile and there you go you've now successfully made it possible to switch between the move cam profile and your normal stream profile um, and to show you that it just works exactly the same as it would for myself because I already have this set up from for me in this case I'm using my stream deck XL but what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to go to my game scene here, and I'm just going to use that same profile I just imported, and here I've got the compass directions, like so. so. This is on page one of the profile. If I go to page two, which I'll show you in a second, I can do incremental moves like this, and I'll show you what page two looks like of this. So let's go here, and then I'll go back here. And uh, so this is what page one looks like. So we set up two pages for you guys and you can get to those pages by hitting the arrow keys on your stream deck like so. And they have all the move commands that link to StreamerBot, which again, he did a whole tutorial about. And that's basically it. So hopefully, excuse me, hopefully that was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions regarding Stream Deck, about importing profiles, about switching them, 
please feel free to comment below. I'll be more than happy to help you as always. And if you guys want the full tutorial where he explained how to move, how to use the move plugin, how to use Streamerbot, how to set it up, you can check out the card right here and also in the description as well. And I wanted to thank you so much for watching our videos uh, to teach you how to do these really cool things inside OBS. And otherwise, have a good rest of your week, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.